Hi friends, let's create a database application to fetch the records from the database. So we'll create a database application, new project. Let's give this as practical number seven. Now meanwhile, we'll just create a table in the database. So I'll just create a data database. Here, let's add a table. Let's create a student table. as primary key. Let's save this with the table name student. Now we'll insert some records here. Just refresh it. Just add some records. Let's say student ID 1001. Student name Zachary. So we have inserted some records. So what we want, we have to just fetch this record, a specific record. If I'll just enter a student ID, it should display all the details. So let's come back to your application. So here, first of all, I'll add one more project here in the solution. So I'll just create a new project. It should be a DLL application. So let's create a DLL first. So here in Windows, you have to just create a DLL. I am creating a student DLL. Now you'll see here there are two projects. One is my DLL application and one is my application, web application. So here just rename this class to, let's say I'm giving one my connection class. Okay. Connection class. So here, I'll just define my all connections. So I need to use some namespaces here. System dot data. Same. System dot data. Dot SQL client. So I can declare now the objects of this classes like connection class I'm just declaring this initializing it to null I want command let's create a separate connection class only I'll just create one method also public void get connection and con equals to new SQL instantiate this SQL connection with the connection string so you'll get this connection strain from tools connect to database just provide the connection so give this our name 
select your database you have created my database name was SNCA just test connection okay you will see the connection is added here just right click it the properties just copy this connection string and paste it here and just put the double slash here so this is my connection class now I can create n number of classes in my student DLL let's create a separate class for just add one class and student DLL that will be a simple student class where I can write my all logic so this is my student class let's give this as public now here I can define my functions with public So before that, I think there is no need to create a student class right now because we have to just fetch their course. So better we'll use connection class over there in your application. So come back to your AS, this page, ASPX page in your web application. Now you can design your form here. Let's remove all this. You can design your form. Take the table. Yeah, I'm adding TR and one more TD. So in the second TD, here first of all, I'll take. student id so in the second id we'll take a text boxes so get this name as txt student id Or there is no need of this td also you can just directly type the student id and you'll get the student name. so next you can write here txt student name here you can fetch the student address here you can fetch the student contact and one more td will take for search button so here i'll take one search button right here search search and just align it to the design view so we have this type of form and when I'll enter this student ID you'll have to fetch the records now come back to your table here I can write a procedure to fetch the record so in programmability you can add new stored procedure move this create procedure create procedure sp search student here pass the parameter only we need to pass the parameter as student id its data type is numeric and here you can just mention the query select 
so we have to fetch student name student name comma student name then address then contact from student where student id equals to at the rate student id so this is my details that we have to fetch now this is the zeroth index so this is the first and this is the second index of data reader that we are going to use let's execute this procedure so contact it is contact number so let's change it to contact number let's execute this so you'll see the procedure is completed now when you refresh this particular procedure you'll find the procedure created come back to your code now in this default.cx when I click on the search button, it should display the details. Now, once you have created the DLL, like for example, you have created this DLL, we have to build that DLL because my connection class is there. So I need to use this DLL in my application. So here you need to just add the reference. So add, we have, we have to just add the reference here and reference of the DLL so just click OK so once you are importing that DLL it means you can access the classes and methods of that particular DLL so using student DLL now we have to use some reader here so that's why we need to use some namespaces so using system dot data or data dot SQL client now I need to use some SQL data reader dr I'm just initializing it to null I want SQL command also so I'm just initializing it to null now I can write one function over here to fetch the record so now uh, instead of that you can directly write in a search code just try cache block just write the to handle the exception uh, here you can display the exception if any exception comes so you can take one label also here to display the exception so this will be my label for just displaying the error messages just give the four color to red and just remove this label so here you can display the exception in label so ex dot message Now in try, we have to call the get connection method from student DLL. So we have to create the object of connection class. Let's create its object equals to new connection class. Now here, now I can be easily call call that method obj dot get connection. So we have established the connection. Now initialize cmd equals to new sql command with the parameters procedure name is pender to search student the name of a procedure and second parameter we required is connection object so obj dot con now see here con is not accessible so we need to we need to just make that con as a public. So 
so I come again to connection class make this as public and build this DLL again <coughs> now here we will see second parameter we need to pass as obj dot con so con is accessible now now we have to show that cmd dot the statement that you have written is of type store procedure so dot store procedure next thing we need to pass the parameter so cmd dot parameters dot add so parameter was for the procedure was student id its data type was sql <coughs> db type dot end dot value equals to the text box that value that you're going to pass so text so now this text va value is string so we need to convert to integer parameter that we have passed now the next statement is we have to open the connection so obj dot con dot open then we have to take dr equals to cmd dot we have to execute the statement now so we require an execute reader method now once you are fetching that record all the record comes into the dr so now just use while dr dot read fetch all the records in a specific text boxes so txt first value was text address now i think student name was there now text equals to dr of zero dot to string second value is address dot text equals to dr of one dot two string third value is student add contact that we have to fetch so text equals to dr of two dot two string so all this after fetching all these values just close the connections so obj dot con dot close so that all that we have to just use all this code in case of any exception this will display in the LDL message now let's execute this page so this page is my default.tspx page If I'll put 1001 because this 1001 student ID is available. So when I'll click on search, it will display the data without error. Now if I'll search for 1003, it will display the data of 1003. So that's it. Thank you.